Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Spider-Man has proven to be a successful character for practically every actor who has portrayed him as a massively popular comic book and film fixture. Now, with the release of Spider-Man No Way Home, which grossed almost $260 million in its first weekend, let's look at which Spider-Man has the highest net worth. Number 5. Tom Holland Tom Holland, who is only 25, is at the pinnacle of his career. In 2008, the British actor made a breakthrough when he was cast in the title role of Billy Elliot the Musical in London's West End. However, obtaining his next major job as Spider-Man was not simple. Holland had to go through five months of auditions before being cast in the coveted job. Holland first appeared as Spider-Man in the 2016 Marvel film Captain America Civil War, before going on to star in three more Spider-Man films. Spider-Man Homecoming 2017, Spider-Man Far From Home 2019, and Spider-Man No Way Home, which is now a worldwide blockbuster. The actor has completed his three-picture commitment and is undecided about reprising his Spider-Man costume. Producer Amy Pascal revealed in a November interview with Fandango that she expects Holland to return to the franchise. This isn't the final Marvel movie we'll create, and this isn't the last Spider-Man movie, Pascal stated. With Tom Holland and Marvel, we're gearing up to make the next Spider-Man film. We're thinking of this as three movies, and we'll go on to the next three immediately. As per Celebrity Net Worth, Holland's current net worth is $18 million. He is dating Zendaya, one of his Spider-Man co-stars. Number 4. Andrew Garfield You may remember him from 2010's The Social Network, when he played Mark Zuckerberg's best friend turned rival Eduardo Saverin. But it wasn't until he slipped into the Spider-Man suit at the age of 27 that his career began to take off. As per Box Office Mojo, The Amazing Spider-Man grossed $757.9 million worldwide, indicating that the 2012 franchise relaunch was off to a good start. Two years later, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 came up short with a worldwide total of $708.98 million. It was Garfield's final Spider-Man picture. Number 3. Donald Glover – Miles Morales Donald Glover does have a lot to do with Spider-Man, even though he has never played him on screen. In addition to appearing in Spider-Man Homecoming, he also portrayed Miles Morales, Spider-Man's alter ego in Ultimate Spider-Man with Drake Bell. Since then, he starred in the Star Wars spin-off Solo – A Star Wars Story 2018, and as Simba in the most recent adaptation of The Lion King 2019. These days, the actor, writer, producer, and rapper has a lot on his plate. After a three-year sabbatical, his Emmy award-winning FX sitcom Atlanta is back for its third season. Glover was supposed to take a pause and focus on other projects, but it was prolonged because of the COVID-19 epidemic. Season 3 was primarily shot in Europe. In addition, Amazon is working on a Glover-led remake of the Brad Pitt Angelina Jolie film Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Glover is reportedly worth $35 million as per celebrity net worth. Number 2. Neil Patrick Harris, Spider-Man The New Animated Series It's easy to see the bright and astute 16-year-old who played Doogie Howser become one of the network's highest paid performers. The successful CBS comedy How I Met Your Mother paid Neil Patrick Harris an approximate $400,000 per episode in its final season on the air. Since then, his winning record in show business has been maintained. In 2010, he was recognized as one of Time's 100 Most Influential People, and in 2014, he received a Tony Award for his performance in Hedwig and the Angry Inch. In 2003, Neil Patrick Harris zipped up his Spider-Man costume to voice Spider-Man inside the animated TV show Spider-Man The New Animated Series, which aired on MTV for one season. Number 1. Tobey Maguire Tobey Maguire's career took off with the release of Spider-Man in 2002. He played understated characters in films like The Cider House Rules and Pleasantville. Twenty years later, the picture is still the fourth highest grossing Spider-Man film, with $821.7 million worldwide and a roughly $115 million opening weekend, which was a record at the time. That was excellent news for Maguire, who made $4 million for the first picture and $32.5 million for the sequel. The famous actor went on to feature in Seabiscuit, Brothers, and The Great Gatsby after his tenure as Peter Parker concluded in 2007 with Spider-Man 3. In 2014, he played chess great Bobby Fischer in the film Pawn Sacrifice, but he will be back on the screen in 2022. 
He will act with Brad Pitt and Margot Robbie in the movie Babylon, set in 1920s Hollywood. He is also producing She Said for Universal Pictures, according to Entertainment Tonight, which is based on an expose concerning former Hollywood executive Harvey Weinstein, who is now a convicted criminal offender. The actor, now 46 years old, has a net worth of $75 million, keeps a low image by spending quality time with his two kids. He and his wife, jewelry maker Jennifer Meyer, divorced in late 2020 after splitting in 2016. No matter who your favorite Spider-Man is, or who has the higher net worth, we can all agree that Spider-Man is one of the best superheroes of all time. Well, this brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. We will see you soon in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye!